What have you done? Like, what the fuck is this, bro? Today, we got Addictions by Clonology. He's a cool little guy, man. I ain't gonna lie. He's coming up in the YouTube game. Let's tap in. Addictions. In this world, everyone has an addiction. It could be wasting your life savings. Chat, what's y'all's addiction, bro? My addiction used to be sex. I'm not addicted no more. Now my addiction is to making money and shit, man. And being a productive streamer and YouTuber. What's y'all's addiction? Destroying your lungs. Or maybe even robbing your local grandma down the street. Hey, I did see everyone got them. Addictions come in many different forms and sizes, like social media. We spend a concerned amount of time in our I'm lives. I'm addicted to KFC. What the hell? And sometimes it just be happening on accident. Like, what I the hate fuck? form content and everything about it. But sometimes when it be the first thing that you see on your homepage, it be like, ooh, this sounds interesting. Then you scroll on to the next video, then another video, and then another video. Bro, something I'm really bad at, though, procrastinating, bro. I've gotten better at it, but, like, bro, I, especially before I take a shower. Like, I'll get into the bathroom, have all of my sit shit set out to go take the shower, and I'll just sit on the toilet. Not even have it. I don't even have to take a shit. I'm just sitting on the toilet, and I'm just, like, I'll just be scrolling on my phone for, like, 30 minutes and then take a shower, like a five-minute shower. Like, bro, I spent 35 minutes in the bathroom wasting my day when I only took, like, a five-minute shower. It's crazy. I wasn't as bad as my uh, auntie, though, bro. My auntie's, like, 25. Bro, I, I lived with her back when I was at my grandma's cr uh, crib because my house was, you feel me, fucked up or whatever. She would get home at, like, 10, uh, 10 p.m., right? And she'll get, she go straight to the bathroom to take a shower. She would not leave that bathroom until 12 p.m. And she took, like, a five-minute shower, five to 10, 10, 15-minute shower. She would sit in that bathroom for over an hour and 30 minutes. It's crazy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> And once you gain this addiction, you can never go back. This addiction is straight up like a time skip, and I hate when this happens too. Like I'd be lost in thought watching Dwayne The Rock Johnson blow up a children's orphanage with Arnold Schwartz of demonetization, and then I have to catch myself by saying, what am I doing? This is literal brain art. I need to go do something with my life. And then I go back to scrolling for some more for the next 10 minutes. The impact that short form content addiction has on society is actually ridiculous, and I blame TikTok for influencing all of these platforms to do this. But it doesn't stop at short form content, because people post their best moments of life instead of living in the moment when they buy food they have to take a picture of the food i mean social media is just your life's greatest highlights so don't let anything that you see on social media dictate how you feel and uh also not saying that there's anything wrong with social media but developing an addiction towards it could really make a negative impact to your life causing chronic procrastination which is the worst addiction to ever develop in the entirety of mankind next up we got plastic surgery this addiction is just so sad because there are people out there yo plastic plastic surgery addiction is bad bro horrible bro i'll be seeing them like bbl bandits bro they be having like them big ass bbls and fake ass lips they just be walking around bro i was scrolling on youtube i seen this one lady have these big ass titties, right and she was just walking around public and was just looking at her it was just weird they're willing to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars they massacred like megan fox they massacred so many people with that plastic surgery bullshit. other people or trying to change every little thing about them i have never ever been happier like oh what's this ibex let me go pay my local somalian down the street someone else's yearly salary just to get my seventh botox injection that's like, crazy please, bro please don't be like these people and some of these people have such a bad addiction to it like to the point where they just take it too far because man <laughs> what have you done like what the fuck is this bro how do you think this looks good i still have no idea why the bogdanov twins decided to do this rest in peace by the way but like why why did you think this was a good idea you look perfectly fine until you decided to do this with your face same thing with that crazy guy on dr phil from a couple of years ago like bro look completely bbls are killing y'all fine and then one day he woke up and decided hey i want to be jimmy <laughs> And now we have this. When I see plastic surgery like this, it just gives me chills of the uncanny valley. Like it looks like it's supposed to look human, but then at the same time, it looks like someone else's sleep paralysis demon. What the fuck is this image, bro? 
Hell no. Nah. And you know, I can't make a segment about this addiction without adding BBLs. God, I'm hoping this video doesn't get blacklisted, but BBLs are single-handedly the worst plastic surgery addiction to ever come out of the 21st century. BBLs are killing the black community, bro. Oh my God. Because why the hell would you risk your life just to look like Megan Thee Stallion? I did some digging and apparently you're expected to have these as soon as you turn 18. Dude, that's just insane. Man. I don't even know. What, what the hell? Bro. Hoes getting out of high school straight. <laughs> Hoes getting out of high school going straight to Dr. Miami, bro. That's crazy, man. What the hell? Uh, the orange and black. You know, that word I can't say. Having a corn addiction, what a crazy transition, by the way, will ruin you. Seriously, a lot of these degenerates no longer see the opposite gender as the way that they're supposed to be seen. In fact, these people don't even see the opposite gender as like human. They think of them as objects. That's bad. <laughs> There are even some people out there that are not so desensitized to everything just because the person they are speaking to isn't a 10 out of 10 big bitty OF woman with professional lighting and cameras. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like another thing, people value looks way too much nowadays, bro. Like, niggas will rather have a brain dead, horrible personality, bad bitch with big titties and big ass and a pretty face than like a 5 out of 10 good human being that you genuinely enjoy being with has a perfect personality to match yo vibe it's sad it's very sad bro it's very sad man i don't know Y'all need to go to rehab, bro. But Loki for some people, you can't even blame them. Corn as an industry somehow always being forced down everyone's eyes, making it very hard to avoid. Like I can't even go down one. It is very hard to avoid, bro. Twitter post reply section without seeing a fully grown woman trying to promote her OF or her Magic Johnson in between. It's stupid. But watching it every three weeks ain't so bad. Like I still think you can make degenerate jokes and stuff like that, or moderately watch it every once in a while. But yeah, being addicted to that shit has to be one of the saddest things known to man or a woman i personally don't take in such promiscuous activities <sighs> all this for a child who yeah i ain't gonna lie yo they knew exactly what they was doing with this game <sighs> so why the fuck is her ass so big all this for a child who isn't even here <laughs> what the hell do fuck <laughs> There is no way she should be that thick. What the hell? You yo, Cloud, yo, love from the UAE. Yo, shout out to you, rich ass nigga. God damn. Selfish wretch. Then I'm going to say. Nah, but seriously, I genuinely don't get the whole appeal. Anyways, I don't think it's as bad as the next edition, which are people who are addicted to watching gore for fun. You are actually a weirdo. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all are just dopamine fiends if you like doing that shit. What the fuck? You find innocent lives being taken away as entertaining. These people are worse than the coomers and they need to be locked up. Is that Drake? <laughs> now there are some addictions that I, many of you, may be addicted to as well. Yes, you the average civilian or Chinese sweatshop worker watching this video. I know this is a complete 180 to what I just talked about, but sugar. Sugar is a guilty pleasure. Man, I remember when offending everybody made this video about the sugar. That shit crazy, man. How that should be corrupting niggas' brains and skulls and shit. Man, all of us ingest some sort of sugar in our system every single day, and you can't avoid it. It's in tomato sauce, it's in your peanut butter, it's in your pills, it's in everything. And I ain't talking about the good type of sugar, too. I'm talking about that processed sugar, that, that bad sugar that you shouldn't even be ingesting in the first place. And the worst part is that it can lead to diabetes, cavities, multiple health risks. Bro, y'all know the craziest thing? Sugar is literally like poison for you, bro. It's literally poison. It doesn't have to be like that. Because there's a thing called cane sugar. That's the good sugar for you. Like, it's still not good for you, but like, it's like, you feel me, way better than the sugar we be having. We be having that white ass sugar. That's chemicals, purely chemicals, bro. And it kills your teeth, corrodes your teeth, and it's poison for you, bro. It's so bad. It's like the literally one of the worst things for you, bro. But I just can't resist it. Like those gummies at aisle four, yeah, them frosted thangs over there. If you went one week without any sugar and look at them thangs for more than five seconds, they will start to talk to you. Yo, yeah, you, eat me. You know you want it. The reason why sugar is so popular is because it kills us. I mean, that's what the medical industry wants so they can make more money. It's all a process, man. And it's plus it's addicting as hell.
but I just can't right now. Boy, stop capping and buy me before I whoop your ass. I just can't help it. I need my daily dopamine boost because that's the only way I can function throughout the entire day. Sugar has done irreversible damage to our society. So bad to the point where people think that water tastes funky. Now listen. Yeah, I don't, yo, them niggas who don't like water is crazy, bro. Water is amazing. I drink a lot of soda. You could even call me the Coke Bandit. Don't call me on that, though. But I will never go to such deep depths to claim that water tastes funky. I'm surprised your taste buds aren't pure black at this point. No, I know this. I know, yo, I know this one girl that doesn't like drinking water. She's like a dumbass, though. She's a complete dumbass. Nigga, I remember I was talking to her boyfriend one day. Look, he said her pussy tastes awful. Awful horrible this is also in the category of junk food as well which is also a pretty bad addiction don't get me wrong having a burger every once in a while is pretty fine but niggas in college definitely be overdoing it like niggas won't even cook their own meals no more man i remember going to a grocery store and seeing one nigga from a campus that will not be named pouring all the pizza rolls cold yo i'm not finna lie that is true nigga nope yo niggas don't be eating home cooked meals no more they be eating this processed fried shit or they be eating out, bro. It's so bad, bro. Dogs, pizza boxes, and a year worth of ramen. Like, nigga, chill, nigga, calm down, calm down. This is not real food. I see a single piece of ingredients or anything from the cold freezer inside that cart. Just the most microwavable foods you can find, honestly. But hey, it ain't like I can't relate with it. Back when a young nigga like me didn't know how to cook, I was struggling. It used to be so bad that all the dishes that came out the kitchen started looking like chum bucket food. I was slaving away for months. And the only way that this could have possibly been so Where do you be finding these images from, bro? Oh, these gifs or whatever. What the hell? What if I went to McDonald's and got a Big Mac with a large pie and some large fries? Put a shirt on, nigga. I have a reason to believe that fast food as a whole is the entire reason why 40% of Americans are all overly obese, bro. That's why I believe it's it is. Addiction. Like, it I is. I remember seeing those documentaries from Generation XXL and seeing the moms overly give their children as much junk food as humanly possible. And those are the worst type of parents, bro. They don't care about their kids. Thing is, these moms be the skinniest milfs out of all of them. <laughs> Like, it did, that doesn't make any sense. They got moms out here trying to turn their children into the next Rod Wave or something. Ridiculous. But hey, it's not like everyone's perfect, as I've also been guilty of this. In 2022, I spent a hefty amount of money on food delivery. I was out here paying $20 for the fattest things you could ever order on a McDonald's order. Oh, yes, let me. Nigga, you were spending 20. Yo. Be a little generous. Never. No, you got to cut it out with them images. What the fuck? You spent $20 on delivery. Are you serious? $20. 20 buckaroos. Not just on delivery, McDonald's. Come on, not even some real food. What the fuck? It's this time. May I please have a McFlurry with a Big Mac? Two large fries with a large Coke. Maybe even put a little hash brown while you're at it. I want two number nines and number What's good, James? Then I would refund it back and then rinse and repeat. Hey, I ain't tell nobody. So this nigga did the method. Of course, he was a law abiding citizen. But no, nah, I don't do this anymore. Like, it's been two years since I've done this. Mostly because of the cause, but because I had to calm down my dopamine receptors or something. Once y'all start cooking in the kitchen, you'll be good. Trust me, you'll be good. The thing with cooking, though, you got to meal prep, bro. You got to cook on Sunday, have enough food for lunch like a big lunch or dinner on Monday or just lunch or whatever. Lunch or dinner, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then cook again Thursday. You have enough food for Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday. And then Sunday you cook again. That's that's what you got to do. That's the that's the method, I'm telling you, bro. Cook two big meals per week. And then if you want something quick for dinner, you chef up something like chicken or rice or whatever. But at least you have a lunch. You feel me? Back to the weird addictions, because I know y'all want to hear a lot about that. We got lying. Lying got to be one of the weirdest, but also common addictions to obtain. Like, there be some people out there that be feeding off of lying as if it's some sort of, like, huge Whoa, whoa, hey, 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 hey. And I would know, because I used to lie so much when I was a kid, too. I would lie about everything just because I was lazy. I'd be creating certain scenes, setups, just to make it seem like I did the work. I'd sweep up things under the rug, then I'd go back to reading manga or watching... I uh, guess my Sonic fan era. Sonic Underground was so fire, bro. Chat, y'all don't even know nothing about that, bro. 
that's a video for another day. Creeper. But yeah, I totally get lying just because you don't want to do something. Mostly because it stems from like procrastination. However, Chat, you gotta like chat. You lie. The thing with lying, right? Lying is like an immature thing. I kind of got out of line, bro. I just tell niggas the truth. I really don't give a fuck, bro. Unless I'm protecting somebody else, I just don't give a fuck, bro. I'm gonna just be real. I'm just keep it real. If you get a guilty pleasure off straight up lying to people all the time, then you are truly evil and maybe schedule therapy lessons next up we got gambling i mean this one's pretty self-explanatory but developing an addiction to throwing away your entire house mortgage is just dumb as hell. not talking about betting though because gambling I don't, I don't understand how niggas can get addicted to gambling bro it's fun but like once i see the money leave my account is on is obviously like bro i'm done with it bro i don't like losing money bro and I gotta make my pay somehow, man. I gotta make But yeah, I'm talking about crazy betting, like what that guy did. You know, Terrence Watanabe, that guy who lost over $200 million in a casino from gambling alone. In fact, what? his gambling addiction was so bad that the owner of the casino himself had to ban Terrence from ever entering the store because he knew that shit was genuinely ruining his life. Yikes, man. It's just sad to see. And I'm pretty sure this addiction is also in the category of risk taking. You know, the people that get around. I ain't gonna lie, that casino, yo, that casino uh, owner, bro. I know that nigga came to that nigga Terrence, cheesing like a motherfucker, talking about Terrence. And I, I know you want to keep on playing, buddy, but the money's already gone <laughs> in my account, bitch ass nigga. Now get out of the fucking casino, ho. Off of taking risks, you know, many people around the world do have this, and that's okay, but some of y'all take it too far. Not about money, it's about sending a message. Everything burns. Next up, we got vaping. Now, I know many people finna run to the comments talking about some, oh, vaping isn't so bad. It helps out stress and stuff. Dude, whoever was the head of marketing and nicotine gotta be the smartest businessman in the world. These people, Wilhelm Heinrich and Carl Ludwig, buckle up because you about to receive a lesson from yours truly. So in 1828, some German chemists found an alkaloid plant found in tobacco. Ha, see, I told you it was bad. Boy, yeah. They later somehow found a way to extract it from tobacco plants. And then later what? in 1843, a French chemist named Louis Malenz worked on a chemical structure helping scientists to understand how nicotine works. And now it's led to this. Vaping is a bad addiction, though. I can for sure see how you, how you can get addicted to vapes, bro. Bro, I'm not finna lie. Whenever, like, I go or whenever I get high, I just start vaping. Like, hella. Like, that's why I had to start getting high, bro, because I didn't want to gain two addictions, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I like vaping and shit when I'm high, and like, that's what I had to stop that shit, bro. Well, I mean, I had to stop that shit. So what did we learn today? Addictions are something that obviously everyone has. There are some good ones, like meditating, reading, maybe not. It's gay? I don't mean it's gay. But like, when you're high, it makes the high better. Not to do in your eyeball, you know, things like that. There are some more addictions I wanted to add into this video, like people who are addicted to getting new pets, which is just weird. And I felt like that would make the video extremely boring, and it would take years to create. So yeah, that's all I have to say. More of the story. I'm psyched! First five people that are stupid enough to boost the server gets mobbed. All right. Well, that's it. Clonology, good video, man.